Okay, so uh, with the pitch set to minus 100, look at what happens, or listen really. Okay, so we can actually reverse it. Uh, you know, however, how useful that is, is something else. But if I change the, let's go up to zero. That's another interesting one, zero. <laughs> And then if I go, okay, so if I take it to smaller amounts, you can hear that. Very kind of small increments. And sorry, I'm trying to get this into focus so you can see it. So anyway, go up to 100%. I think it's 100% in terms of percentages. So 100 means it's normal kind of uh, tracking, but then you can go higher than that, and that means you get bigger intervals between each. Okay, so that's all with key follow on the pitch. Uh, right, so, I mean, if you, if you just reset the uh, number 72, then it'll go back to 100 anyway. You just press... 72 there. So those are the basic uh, aspects of a key follow and uh, bias. You've got key follow on the, JD, on the SH101 and you've got it on the Juno but you've got nothing on uh, the MS20. Um, so if I quickly go over to the Juno, here we go, the Juno. You can try that out at home on yours actually. Uh, Juno, Juno, and you go. It's called keyboard. Okay, so that's often what it's called: uh, keyboard or um, uh, tracking, uh, key follow. They all mean the same thing.